morning guys welcome to another class of uh, introduction to marine today we are going to talk about the the cutlass bearings and uh, also about the stuffing box uh, yesterday we talked about the, this type of a stuffing box no guys what is the name of this stuffing box mechanical mechanical, mechanical stuffing box and uh, you can uh, fix it, the drips of water uh, in this type of a stuffing box with the boat on the water? Yes. yes. You can, no? Yes. Uh, what is the recommendation when you have a leak uh, in, a, in a typical stuffing box like this? Number one, prepare tools. Prepare a couple of bilge pumps. And uh, work minimum two people. Prepare plus lights. Good light, because you need light and good tools to remove the old seal. And buy the new seal, the new seal, according, the diameter of this is according with what? According with the diameter of the chap. Right. If you enter in internet, you see, oh, I, I have a chap one and a half, uh, the recommendation is three eight. Uh, it's one and a three quarter, is five sixteen, yeah? It's different thickness, depending on the diameter of the chap. There are two types of uh, materials. What is the name of this element? A seal. A seal. seal package. Seal package. Hmm. It, this one is impregnated with a, a fat, animal fat. Or you can order the same impregnated with graphite. Graphite is what? Carbon. 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 No carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is different. Yeah. It's carbon uh, fiber is fibers of carbon covered with resin. That's different. Carbon is the pencil. It's, it's graphite. But uh, also, with the carbon, you have a diamond. It's incredible, no? Carbon, depending how it's organized the structure, is the hardest surface or is is a good lubricant. And today we are going to talk about other other function of a graphite. All right. This one impregnated with graphite is excellent. Or this one impregnated with fat. Okay, you prepare and you pre-cut it. How many, how many rings? Three. Three. Offset. Three. Three of them with a razor blade. Exactly, exactly the diameter of this. You prepare three of these, of those, and you are ready. When you separate the knot, the knot is moved here, the water enters, the bilge pumps are working, the lights are on, and you are ready to remove the old, the old seal. And you introduce the new ones too fast. And, and you start to tie and tie and tie until water, you, you need to move it, move it the chop. Move it the chop, okay, my chop is moving. Suddenly, with the pie wrench, you tie too much and it's impossible to move it. You need to return a little and verify that you don't have leaks. That's it. See trail, return, check again, tie a little. Next day, check again, it's okay, finito. That's the process, it's not complicated. Okay, the other one is this. The other one is this. Bellows. The name of this is a bellows. And internally in this, in this uh, box, we have a, this type of seal. Internally here, we have this type of hydraulic seal. You see this seal, guys? How that seal operates? One side is dry, and other side is wet, with lips. You see the lips here? When the fluid enter here, expand the lips, and you don't have leaks. We have millions of those seals in the boat. Give me one of those or two of those famous in your car, in your boat. You have the transmission seal. Or crankshaft seals on the engine. Look, let me show you some. Look. Inside of this, I have this, no? And this one is like this, you see? They have a special neoprene material 
uh, is working like a bearing and uh, with channels, with grooves, and the water flow over there. Yeah? Everybody follow me? This element, I cut it, and this is the section of this. And this material is like a, like a bearing. Look at this. Here, now we are going to talk about that. Inside of the strut, we have a bearing. And that bearing is a metallic pipe with, with rubber, and a special rubber, neoprene, too hard, with groups in the middle to flow, to allow the flow of water. This is the bearing. What is the name of this bearing? Cutlass. Cutlass, cutlass bearing. And now we are going to check the process to replace that bearing. It's located here. How I know if the cutlass bearing is, is, is where? Here. When I remove the propeller, when I remove the propeller, immediately I remove the propeller, I need check. It's like a tie rod in chimney oh, yeah. For play, for play. Could you check it? If the play is more than 1 16 inch, you need to replace the bearings. You see? Sure. The play here. And you need to analyze the bearing. And you need to verify if the bearing is where more in one side and is practically new one in the other side, indicating what? It's not that the strut is it's it's not aligned. And uh, if, you, if you have too much play, the bearing is Oh. Where? It's, it's gone. And you need to replace that bearing. What happens if you know I have a lot of play and I don't replace the bearing? The what is the symptom in the boat? Vibration. A lot of vibration, number one. And uh, the motor mounts are broken con continuously. Each three months, one motor mount or two are broken. Is the water. And yeah. I need to align the engine periodically two times, three times per year. That's, that's not common. It's because I have too much play between the cutlass bearing and, and the chop. You can say to the diver, hey, my friend, can you, can you verify if my, my chop have play? And those guys, they say, yes, too much play. And you need to lift the boat, put the boat out, and replace the bearings. Here, inside of this, I have this element and this element have here like a cutlass bearing, you see? With the same material, with the same rubber. And it's located here. And here in front, here in front, if I open the, the cap, follow me guys. If I open the cap, I have, I have one, one hydraulic, hydraulic seal. seal hydraulic seal located here. You see? And now the boats. In other words, if the water enter here, the water pass over there? No. No, because the seal swells. Expand and Blocks. block. This is the function. But uh, is, what do you think is more accurate? This one with one hydraulic seal or this one with three seal packages. The mechanical. I prefer this. The people hate this system. This system with the hydraulic seal here. Because the seals are broken constantly or expanded, especially if you don't use the boat constantly. 